Hey guys, today's tip is all about optimizing your store. It's about what we do in DSM tool. We help you to sell more. So in your price monitor page, I would like to take my personal account together with you and make a small optimization together with you. I didn't update my account in a few days just to make this video. I'll start by uh, showing you around uh, how the price monitor page works. So as long as I'm working uh, in this page, I can see the, the source section here with all the details about the source, like uh, here it's Walmart and you can see the idea of the number. Some of the details you cannot see because I had to, uh, to take them away for the video. Um, and here is the target area. But actually, we're going to focus today on this part in the target area. The views, which is this counter. The watching counter. The sold items counter. This is the ratio. How many sales uh, you had per view. I mean, how many, uh, how many sales uh, divided by, by how many views. And how, how long has your item been live? So the first thing that I want to show you is that we can actually sort that list. So if you want to see your items from, um, let's take it from the highest number of views to the lowest number of views. Sorry, it first shows you the lowest. I just have to click on that icon and it immediately sets them from the lowest, let's see over here, one view, to the highest, which I cannot see because it's down there or in the second page. I can also click on it again and see the, the items with the most views like this item over here with 544 uh, views in 27 days. So um, so I can, I can sort all my items. The next tool that I want to show you that we use for the optimization is the filter. Now the filter take the par parameters that you see here and filters uh, according to them. It actually is used as a search box as well. So for example, if you want to find all the items that I don't know, that has, um, if you want to find a specific item uh, by title, you can search it here. If you want to search it by ID, you can actually do it in the quick item search as well. But if for some reason you want to, to search an item, that's very easy. But the most powerful tool here is actually the, um, the filter. So for example, I can sort, uh, I, I was sorting, um, the item here per views, but I want to see only the items that are up to 100 views. So I want the items, uh, I have items on, on one side of the equation that are smaller, sorry, this is bigger, smaller than 100. So as you can see, the number 100, let's make it with 10 so it will be more visible. The, the number 10 is bigger then our search, we search for the items. The items are this side of the equation where you see, it's like here, here is items under 10. Let's make uh, un items under 100. And when I click fil filter, I will actually only see the items that has almost 100 views. And with this tool, I can start optimizing. With, the, the, with using both tools, I can start optimizing my account. So I'll go back to start. I want to check which are my oldest. Oldest items are two months old. And I want within the oldest items to find the items that actually has less than, um, let's make it less. Sorry, this is less, less than um, 25 views. So I will have items that has less than 25 uh, views sorted from the oldest to the newest. In this case, I have an item that is 28 days live in air and had only four views and check this out, it's even out of prime, meaning it's probably not an item that I'm going to sell anytime soon. Actually, if you think about it, it hurts my store. I don't need this item. It hurts my selling ratio, my, my store sell-through ratio. It costs me money. There is no reason in the world for me to have it. Let's delete it. I click on delete item. 
I of course have four options of deleting, that's a whole other video. But in this case I will choose to remove it from the monitor and end the listing on eBay. I don't think that I will need to use it in the future. So I removed it and now um, I, I can keep optimizing my store. I have um, 24 days an item with 15 views. I think that I'll give it a few more days. But check this out. I want to find items that has... Um, wait. Oh, here, here is an, another example for a good item to delete. Item that is 23 days old and only has uh, three views. Another thing that I like to do And other things that I like to do uh, when I go from the beginning is to check um, the items and when they were sold for the last time. So if I'll go and I'll locate um, my, um, if I will locate my mouse over the uh, sold uh, number, I will see when it was sold for the last time. This item, for example, was sold for the last time in uh, November 20. Today is the 6th of December. It has not been that long, but it might be that I'll find here items that were not sold, that were already sold, and but were not sold in the past 60, 90 days. That must mean that they are seasonal items. For example, if I'll have here uh, summer related items and today is December, I have no reason to uh, keep them in my store. What I should do is I should delete them just one second, and I should delete them only from eBay. I should end the listing on eBay and keep the item in monitor. When I do that, what I'll see is uh, next to the price, uh, sorry, next to the, uh, instead of quantity over here, I will see a green button that says released. Um, in that case, I could keep the item until the season comes and then simply release it next summer and it will sell for me again. This is a great tip for store management um, along the year. The last tip that I want to give you is actually a very, very new uh, feature that we launched. I'll be honest with you, this video was recorded one day after we launched this amazing feature of, um, of the dashboard. Um, the new dashboard in DSM, and maybe when you listen to this tip, it's already quite old and has some cool uh, new features in it. But the new net dashboard has this powerful tool called Account Alerts. And this powerful tool, what it does, it tells you uh, all kind of uh, ideas of how to optimize your account. And I'll give you one simple, um, one, one of the uh, things that I like about it. So for example, it shows you uh, items that has less than uh, some amount of views that you can set, in, in this case 10 views, in the past some amount of days. So I told him, please tell me how many items has 10, uh, uh, less than 10 views in 7 days. So when I, I will click on it, it will actually take me to the price monitor page and will sort the items. It will search here all the items. If you want to search multiple items, just put a comma between them. It will show me all the items that are older than seven days and has less than 10 views. These are all items that I should delete right away. I'm not deleting it because right now because uh, we might want to use them for further videos. But these are items that I, I would personally not keep in my account. You can also see that I was setting them to profit zero and they still don't get views or being sold. So I guess these are not good items for my account. So use those alerts in the dashboard in order to keep optimizing your account. I really hope you enjoyed that video and those tips and I hope that you're going to optimize your account and by that um, increase your sell through. Uh, I wish you all good luck with sales and thank you very much for listening.